Hello everybody and welcome back to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I'm going to show you how to get these cool maze glasses as a part of the Maze Runner level in the uh, the Labyrinth event in the Roblox, the latest Roblox event. So the Labyrinth is the name of the level. You're going to start the level, you'll get this welcome warning and basically tell you that you have to find this treasure. Like you got to find some dude and then you, you got to have him help you find some treasure. Uh, so when you start out, you're going to go and talk to this guy right where you spawn. There's this guy, he's going to tell you a little bit more about the event and as always, just he's going to be a little chatty and tell you to look for his friend and then uh, how to find the great treasure that you're supposed to okay now I just headed back here to the map behind him there are basically four mazes around the whole level so you can head there these doors are only open when there's daylight so if you don't have the doors open then you might have to wait basically what I did I kept to the left and kind of kept going along the left this maze changes with each server so you guys could try to follow exactly what I did here but it won't work for you necessarily uh, because because this is actually randomized so trying to map it out is what I tried to do in the beginning but I didn't uh, so you might find yourself in the dark area you're probably gonna have to run around a lot until you find this temple basically what you're doing is trying to find this big old temple in an opening it's very hard you go inside there you talk to this guy the labyrinth friend and he's gonna tell you that he needs help finding this treasure so uh, also after he talks for a little bit it might take up to 20 minutes before this little hatch opens next to him so again you might spend a lot of time during this event waiting for certain doors and hatches to open if you are in the labyrinth and you get in the dark area maybe you've gone too far uh, so when that opens you've got basically four obbies down here that you have to go through you have 20 minutes in a little counter and you have to go through them in a certain order and after you go through one and you finish that one then you will uh, put down a crate onto this thing which will open the door for the next one and 20 minutes should be enough time some of these are pretty tricky but just kind of pay attention to what I'm doing here uh, this first one we've got some of these little moving pillars going up and down so uh, just a little bit of patience uh, I think I was able to get it done in about uh, 12 or 13 minutes so I, I had you know like seven minutes extra to go uh, and and if you fall in here you don't get set back to the beginning uh, so see this panel here around the corner you'll find a box by any of these panels you will find a crate that you can pick up and put on top of these so you can actually jump in the fire here and then get reset to the middle and get go to the second door but there's also ways that you can just kind of jump your way back and get back to the door without dying uh, I did that on this first one but I think on the next ones I'm gonna do some I'll probably you know not survive this next one is pretty hard you've got to just kind of go along this little trail here it's uh, just slow and steady wins the race uh, there are a couple panels in the back here that you'll see that kind of go up and down and dip into the the lava and that part's a little bit tricky it's coming up right here so right here you gotta re go really really fast as soon as the the one next to you comes up otherwise you won't make it these little beams move sideways really weird too when you jump on them wherever you're standing they you don't move with the beam so you have to kind of keep moving on those and then here is the second spot you want to grab that crate and of course put that on top and then you can jump in the lava to reset here and then you just get a five second penalty and here is the third door you go in here you've got all these little swinging uh pendulums that are trying to get you if you get hit by those you'll usually get a penalty like I what happened to me here uh just you know take it slow and steady you don't want to get hit by this thing uh I don't think that knocks you off I think that gives you a penalty as well uh watch out for these doors make sure you don't hit your head up top and don't get uh past the point that you want to get on the next pillar uh, that was the third one we've put the crate on there so we've got now the fourth and final one you just go up here this one is the easiest one I believe of them you go up to the top and on the right here you see this ladder you don't want to go down you want to just climb all the way up just keep climbing up further up the ladder and follow these arrows these arrows are basically pointing to where you need to go you're gonna jump up this big old uh, block of rocks over here come around and then you're gonna just do a leap of faith boom okay so you're on top of the temple and at the top of the temple you will find the treasure and if you get the treasure you get your cool maze glasses of course you get this congratulatory message here that says good job you've got your virtual item in your inventory so let's go take a look at that cool virtual item here we've got these maze glasses here that will be in your inventory they look pretty cool pretty cool with my chill hat as well I, I have to say and then we can take a uh, real quick a closer look at these glasses these are the maze glasses that you get as a part of the event so I know the maze is a little tricky guys have patience it's gonna take some time it may have you pull your hair out but you got to get to the temple and it changes each time I'm sorry it changes I hope this has been helpful for you guys please feel free to like subscribe comment 
hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for future events.